This is another hamster set that I have ordered on eBay and I thought it'd be just fun because uh, it's quite trendy to do so is to do an unpackaging um, video and then we're going to find out what's inside it and to see whether we can do anything really interesting with the contents of the 1980s or early 90s chemistry set. So it's well packaged. I think it's got the wrong way around. Yeah. <clears throat> Turns out it's a 1967 Merit set. Good. Hopefully nothing's leaked out. Yeah. Not the best way. Just to snip off the packaging. It's very annoying, of course, when you do get glass and stuff through the post and somebody is, hasn't packed it right. And it's all broken. I remember getting a lovely uh, bottle from Argentina, a blue bottle, very rare, and somebody had packed it inside with newspaper. No packaging on the outside, packaged it inside with newspaper, and guess what? The bottle was smashed. I actually thought that packing a bottle inside with newspaper would actually protect it in some magic way. Now, ah, here we go. Look at this, this is a Merit chemistry set, 101 experiments, safety tested, whatever that means. Now let's hope you get all of this with it, because if you don't I'll be highly disappointed, especially a brass um, burner. So let's see, here we go, Open it this way for you. Oh, something spelt out, a black substance, but as it's safety tested, it will be harmful in any shape or form. So we say, he doesn't make very happy, sure he doesn't. I'd be much happier if I had a chemistry set like this. Now we do get a little flask, but it's not the same one. He's got a 250 ml flask, a uh, boiling flask. Oh my goodness, it's so thin. It's so thin that I would be scared even to use that. The beaker. Uh, is nice and look not what I got I got a horrible little glass cheapy Chinese made uh, oh it's made in England actually it says Merit but it is not that lovely little brass um, burner that they advertise uh, I don't have a, a conical flask so far um, look at all the chemicals in another video this is just the oh that's it Oh, there's more below. Ooh, now that is exciting. Somebody spent a fair bit of money on this. Lots and lots and lots of test tubes. Um, some broken glass in that. Let's see what sizes we got. Oh, we got lots of horrible little soda glass ones. This one looks, it doesn't say parrots, but it looks like a little borosilicate glass tube. A little wooden. Uh, Test tube stand, again, not the same as what they're advertising. It's not even wood. That's cardboard or melamine. It's like cardboard that's been impregnated with um, uh, like a resin. <clears throat> we do have a glass thistle funnel. We did have another Florence flask or boiling flask, but it's missing. Bizarrely enough, we have some form of Bunsen burner. I'm really surprised at. Look, it comes on like that. I'll have to test this out in my lab. Um, and we've got a little pipe, or not a pipe, a triangle, a little triangle. That's right, I can eat my land please with that. And then we get some more chemicals, sodium thiosulfate, and some fun making sulfur out of that, and stink bombs. Some potassium permanganate. My goodness, potassium permanganate. Now that is Probably my most favourite chemical, <clears throat> um, my most favourite inorganic chemical, shall I say. Uh, it's broken, and uh, that must be what the black substance is here. Yes, it is very, very finely ground, so we could have a nice fire, and everything is covered in it. Not really annoying, because as we all know, potassium permanganate uh, makes everything go purple. 
and then beginning to get brown fingers uh, from the oxidation of the um, permanganate going or the reduction of it going into manganese dioxide. Uh, we've got a little YouTube here. Um, it's quite funny. YouTube on YouTube. Ah, it's, it's quite good. It's a YouTube on YouTube. I never thought that. Right, <clears throat> a magnesium carbonate. Uh, sodium carbonate, so we'll have to clean all this up. That's what the black substance is in all of these little test tubes. If you can see that, it's filled with potassium permanganate. And luckily there wasn't a little capsule of glycerine. And that broke at the same time we'd have had a nasty spontaneous fire, didn't we? Right, well look, that's the, I don't think there's anything else in here except mess from potassium permanganate. And I've got uh, the dining room table all covered in potassium permanganate. So that'll be something I'll have to clean up with some dilute sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide to get rid of that. So uh, the next video we're going to uh, show will be going through what's in this little merit set. I need to find out the date exactly and uh, what maybe we can do with this that would be maybe, maybe a bit more fun and possibly a bit more dangerous than uh, what the instruction manual would tell you because uh, I keep getting all these emails from people saying can you do something dangerous with a chemistry set wow look at that you could actually get a retort from Merit I have to go through this in more detail so uh, hope you enjoyed that unpacking video and uh, I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching uh, please like and subscribe and I've discovered that this chemistry set is actually a number three outfit by Merit made in 1967. So hopefully we'll have some fun in the future with it. Thanks for watching. Bye.